On the 5th of August 2019, the Government of India revoked the special status or special autonomy granted under the Article 370 of the Indian Constitution to India held Jammu and Kashmir region. Administered by India as a result of the first Indo-Pakistan War 1947-49, UN resolution that established the disp dispute character of the territory of former princely state Jammu and Kashmir. The scrapping of Article 370 from the Instant Con Indian Constitution and the reorganization of Jammu and Kashmir bill seeking to divide the state into two union territories to be governed by a lieutenant governor and a unicameral legislation were both pushed through the Indian Parliament. For Modi and his ruling, BJP India held Kashmir is a firm and final part of the Indian Union, ruled from Delhi. Moreover, they are just like the rest of the formerly prince, princely state. They have to be recognized, meaning Azad, Jammu and Kashmir, Gilgil, Balochistan, and part of the Ladakh and that are held by China. PM Modi's dream is not working out that well. While the world and the UN that should have had a stake in such a blunt rape of international law have kept more or less quiet, Kashmiris on both sides of the divide, uh, Pakistan and even a part of the Indian population protest heavily. Starting on 5th of August, a complete lockdown was implemented in IHK as to prevent Kashmir protesters about 4,000 people had been arrested in the region including most members of the Kashmir government and parliament. The lockdown included a complete communication stop with telephone and mobile internet connection cut for months with nobody from outside including India and foreign journalists allowed to visit Jammu and Kashmir. In the lead up to the move, India sent thousands of additional troops to the disputed region, imposed and crippling curfews on the population with schools and businesses closed. Nevertheless, Kashmir took to the streets to protest against New Delhi's decision. Security forces used tear gas and rubber bullets against stone-throwing local residents in Sirinagar. Weeks of protest dispute, authority, uh, authorities imposed tight uh, restrictions on people's movement and communication, showing the rejection of the Kashmiri population against this move. Kashmir freedom fighters tried to keep resistance up against this move with attacks against the Indian security forces. Together with the changing of the political st status of Jammu and Kashmir, the right one granted to Kashmir under the Article 35A of the Indian Constitution that no outsider can settle in the Himalaya region has also been scrapped and the fear of the international ethic change via the settlement of outsiders in Kashmir is currently up to 25,000 people have been granted domicile certificates in Indian administrated Kashmir. Since May 18, supporting the fear of the beginning of democratic changes in the Muslim minorities, Himalaya region, the certificate, a sort of citizenship right, entitles a person to residence and government job in the region, which till last year was reserved only for the local population. Kashmiri population across the divide have said the revocation of special citizenship rights was aimed to reversing the Muslim majorities. Uh, characteristics of the region. The Kashmir population is paying the price for India's single-handed action to solve the Kashmir conflict. That has created new turmoils in IHK. There, there is no relief in sight for them. In the short run, looking further ahead though, the aggression anti-Muslim policy based on territorial nationalist idea of Akand Bharat is steadily isolating India in the region, in strange neighborhoods. Together with the growing unrest within the country, India may be facing serious threats to its unity and integrity, which will certainly impact India's economy. Today, at the anniversary of one year of India being under siege, we are here to raise our voice.
I told you in my last video, I will not let this matter go, even if the world does. It is a sad moment. Economy of Kashmir has been crippled. No schools, no education. What the hell is going on? Somebody should do something. I don't have the power. Somebody does. Whoever does, shame on you. Okay, this is your host Mohsen Bukhari.